has a really wonderful and generous history of contributing to DePaul in general, um, to various funds, to those colleges, for instance, that you still have loyalty to. But we have a special, um, a special philanthropy, and that is the DES Scholarship Fund. And the DES Scholarship Fund is a fund that's designed for, uh, for seniors, for undergrad senior students, who need that last push to get them to graduation and to getting their degrees. And honestly, these scholarships do indeed for these kids make the difference between graduating and not graduating, between getting their degrees and not getting their degrees, between achieving their goals and having to put them off in some cases indefinitely. Dave Sims is the one who's been doing the interviews and he has pointed out that with I think 120 new retirees, this presents a certain challenge to the oral history project, but they are working on ways of streamlining it. In the meantime, if you are contacted about doing an interview, please say yes. Um, and if you have suggestions for things that we might organize, please let me or Dave Sims know. Our emails are on all of the information that you get about DES. Thanks. Proof of concept short. So essentially what that is is instead of making a standalone small project, you make something that introduces a possible larger story that could go on to become a feature film or a series of feature films um, or, a TV show. or a TV show that would that would make investors more excited about funding you in terms of progressing a story that you've already started instead of giving you money to do something they've never even heard. Okay, thank you. Just be careful, Mike. You don't want to go pissing off execs. My two cents, just write it. Take the paycheck, and then you can move on to your masterpiece.